So question, does your old Ford Super Duty or other old Ford for that matter not have uh, cruise control anymore? Did it stop working? Well, mine did. This is a 99 F350. And for, I don't know, the past four years I've been running without a working cruise control. It just stopped working. When I was researching, changing out this uh, Hydro Boost for the brakes, the, uh, it was mentioned that about the sensor on the master cylinder to replace. And basically, this is a sensor. And this is the old one. And it is right, well, a little hard to see here, but it's right down here, sticking off the bottom of the master cylinder. Might be easier to see it from this side. There's the plug, if you could look. You might see there's the plug to the sensor right there. Anyway, when I was in there, I ended up just changing it out. I didn't test it. It was a last minute thing just to order this sucker. I ordered a Ford Motocraft version. There was a generic aftermarket ones, but uh, for electronics, uh, I want to go with the good stuff. So um, I changed it out. I'll show in the video here how I did that. I mean, it's a piece of cake. Take the airbox out, looks like. Take this hose off. Snaps off. It should be one over here somewhere. Probably the old 10 millimeter, but I'm using a 5 sixteenths. Yeah, yeah, that's what I have. It fits. That come off quite easy. Okay, the filter should be in good shape. Yeah, I got some leaves in here. Got one, two, three. All right, the battery's going. Just got to remove the uh, retainer here. Maybe I can pull it over a little bit. It's loose right right on the out back side of the, the air box is a sensor. Right here's the sensor. Oh no, it's a twist. Turn it 90 degrees. It pops right out. That will be replaced. Actually, pull it off. I not believe this, but this is a 9 16 see if I can pop it free. Come on. There. There we go. Probably should get a rag. We may have a little leakage here. Let me get the other one ready. I just pull the cap off and it's a little thread here. This does not look like the same size. Of course it's not. Let me get time to do a little bit of cleaning. Wow. Let's see what kind of anything falls out of here. Nope. Definitely a bigger piece here to tighten up though. <laughs> Are you kidding me? What size is that thing? Hmm. Three quarters. Three. <laughs> okay, so I'll go from nine sixteenths to three quarters. Or it could be, uh, what is that, 20, 20 millimeters? That'd be an odd size. Okay, and the plug, it looks a lot different than this one. 
and it is a little bit different but it does made up surprisingly now I need to kind of route this where it's not going to be pushing or bouncing up against anything. Let's see if I can put it over here. If I get it lined up correctly. There we go. Make sure it snaps in place. There. Okay, that should be it. And took it for a drive. Cruise control is back. Yes, it is back. And cruise control is working again. So it was, uh, oh my gosh, $25, I think. I'll put a link, product that I bought for it. Um, you might want to verify that it fits your vehicle if you uh, look looking to actually purchase it but like I said it took care of the problem and, and it's like a game changer almost it runs on a highway without me having to play the gas I can just set cruise and and cruise the way it should be anyway I hope this is helpful to you and getting uh, your older vehicle uh, working a little better.